Okie dokie people, it's been a long time since I made a video. I knew I said I was going to keep up. This never did. It's got busy, new job, the whole career thing, anything. So my 120 has gone through its ups and downs in the last two years, three years or so. And I had decided it's time to upgrade. So whoop to do excited for me. Give you a little quick peek what's going on in there. I can get rid of the sun glare. Sorry, this is definitely an impromptu video. We got a whole lot of stuff we shouldn't have, including some triggers. We got about a two foot snowflakey on there, but everything seems to be really happy and cohabitating well. Monopore is getting giant. Zoe Garden's doing awesome. I've got an Osalis and a Maroon Clown together. That's not supposed to happen, but whatever. They've been together forever today. And this Octo has gotten huge. My Lobophilias are giant, doing awesome. Clowns are hosting in them. Don't know why, because there's a bubble tip up there somewhere. Style of four is out of control. Have to trim that back. Almost lost some of my acros, but they're coming back. So, and I had to get rid of an angelfish because it decided to start eating on my a cans, and completely destroyed. I don't know if you can see down there. Hold on. That little skeleton right there used to be a blast of Wellsy colony in it. That guy just decided he was really hungry one day and just wiped it out, so he had to go. But that brings me to, I want some more tanks, and I can't have them because they keep running each other out. So I stepped up my game and got the 180. So we have been today working on installing custom overflow box. I looked all around the internet, couldn't find anything on this eShops deal other than people that had already drilled their stuff and they were kind of complaining about water level stuff. So I took a lot of extra time to make sure that I got the water level what I want because I want it definitely up inside this rim here. I don't want it, I don't want to be able to see the water line other than maybe my wave maker crashing it down, you know, splashing the tank around and whatnot. So I just got done drilling and I figured what better time than now than to show y'all what's going on because I, I mean this system seems pretty awesome everyone's raved about how quiet it is it looks really sleek like the ghost and I'm a fan of the ghost the ghost is just way more expensive and eShops is good to go so why not go eShops right anyway so I just finished drilling my holes and it comes in the kit it comes in the kit with the drill bit Ratchia. Right, and then it says that you got to clamp it and all the other stuff, which is all good. But I just drilled my holes and it comes with the template. So, what I figured, I did a whole bunch of measuring. If you have a standard tank like a Marine Lands, like this one is, and my 120 is, or most other common manufacturers out there, they all have a two inch rim. Well, I don't know if eShops designed it that way, they definitely didn't put it in the instructions. But if you take this template right here with the arrow up top, this is pretty much your water level. So if you put that dude in there up against the top of the brim, of that support brim in there, that's almost going to be perfect for your water level. You might come down maybe an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch just to make sure, you know, if you get those holes plugged with algae or whatever, that you've got that emergency overflow. But, and... Moreover, whenever you drill your holes, the, the box and the skimmer box from the inside are offset. So what I found when I put this in here, when you line your holes up, like so, if you look on the back, if you can see that, the clear acrylic box is almost perfectly aligned with that support brim. Like, it's almost supposed to go that way. Again, I'm not sure why they didn't put it in the instructions. Maybe it's because every tank might be a little bit different. They don't want to take liability for it not being the same. So, But anyhow, from my experience with the Marineland tanks or any other common manufacturer with a 2-inch support brim, the 2-inch brim, that's going to work best for you. So put it in there. Use the clamps, hold the thing in, hold the thing in place, keep the water going, 
keep flushing your your cut out keep all them the cuttings out of the thing and you'll you'll notice your cut goes a lot faster and I ended up with a pretty fast cut it's pretty clean there's no sharp edges or nothing like that what I did find is on my first hole this is my very first time drilling a tank too other than an overflow on like a 10 gallon aquarium so the glass is a lot thicker I was kind of scared because you know you got thousand dollars worth of glass here no big deal um, Maybe not for some people, but for me it was kind of scary. Um, anywho, so on my first hole, I pushed a little bit hard at the end, and I punched through, and I noticed there's a little bit of scaling around the hole. No big deal. If I have to put some silicone around it, I'll put some silicone around it. And I just painted this black. I probably should have waited till after, but whatever. I'm going to touch this up because it's going to be a peninsula tank. Let me flip you guys around so you don't have to stare at my ugly mug. Anyway, it's going to be a peninsula tank coming from my kitchen. Shaboom. I'm really excited to get it going. It's going to be an awesome view going down through there. But anyway, that's it. So use a template from the inside, drill from the inside. And your water level should be, and put the template all the way up to that support brim. And you should be good to go on your water level. Because I've seen a lot of the, the only videos that I found on YouTube People are complaining that it's going over the top and it creates a suction and it's not as quiet as it should be. But again, all that's, it says in the instructions that, it, you know, put the, the skimmer to the level that you want. And I will leave you guys with a shot of the tank. Alright, until next time guys, happy reefing.